With the state's warm temperatures and abundant sunshine, Florida's climate supports over 2,800 native plant species. But the same subtropical climate that supports native flora also makes it possible for non-native plants to thrive. One of these non-native plants is air potato vine, a native of Asia and Africa. Air potato is a major invasive species in Florida, negatively affecting native species and conservation areas. This non-edible yam is identified by its heart-shaped leaves and the vines that produce the bulbuls which give the plant the name air potato. It's known for its ability to quickly take over a natural area and smother native vegetation. So much so that Florida counties spend thousands of dollars each year to control the noxious weed. Despite these efforts, the problematic plant can be found in almost every county in the state. This is the story of a multi-agency working group made up of members from the United States Department of Agriculture, or USDA. The Florida Department of Agriculture and Consumer Services, or FDAX, and the University of Florida IFAS, working together to implement a biological control program to make it less costly and far easier to manage the invasive air potato. While on a field survey to Nepal in 2002, Doctors Min Rayamaji and Bob Pemberton, scientists with the USDA Agricultural Research Service, discovered a beetle feeding on air potato leaves. Rayamaji was later able to obtain a sample of the beetles to begin research at the USDA laboratory in Fort Lauderdale to investigate the beetle's potential as a biological control agent. Initial observations were promising as the air potato leaf beetle devastated existing vines by feeding on the air potato foliage. Well, these particular beetles, uh, we call this uh, Liliosius chennai, they are leaf feeders. They eat the leaves, they scrutinize it, the leaves die, and then eat the tip, and the tip stops growing. Extensive testing by the USDA in a highly secure quarantine laboratory demonstrated that the beetles were not a danger to any Florida plants, including two closely related native yam species. Based on this safety data, the federal government approved field release of the beetles in 2009. Inside a beetle rearing facility in Fort Pierce, University of Florida scientist Bill Overholt points out a vine in one of the rearing cages that is completely untouched by beetles and explains that it was a winged yam, a plant closely related to air potato. So the plant is controlling the insect, and the insect is controlling the plant. Because these insects are so specialized that they can only feed on one plant, uh, the plant controls the insect population, and the insect population controls the plant. Initial field releases of the beetles made in Fort Lauderdale demonstrated that the beetles could multiply and form self-sustaining populations in that area of the state. The next steps were to confirm whether the beetles would establish across the diverse environments in Florida and quantify their impact on air potato vines. Five research plots were strategically established throughout the state. One of these plots was maintained by Dr. Eric Rorig with the FDAX Division of Plant Industry. At the division's facility in Gainesville, beetles were raised and dispersed on the test plot near the facility, providing results the researchers were looking for. There's about 95% of it was covered in air potato. It had smothered all the native vegetation and killed many, many trees. They had done a tremendous job cleaning it all up. The vines did come back the next year and they still are coming back each year, but each year they're shorter, they're not growing as high, they're not covering as much. In fact, Early results indicated the beetles were having an impact that was as good and even better than was expected. Our research shows that the vine density decreased by 13, average of 39% in three years. And then the, the potato production on the vine was reduced by as much as 67% in three years. A further step was taken to investigate the beetle's ability to survive in Florida's variable climate, 
particularly during the winter months when the air potato vines have died back. This became a joint research project by UF-IFAS, USDA, and FDAX. The study demonstrated that two different biotypes of the beetle were able to survive throughout the winter at four locations in Florida, from Homestead to Tallahassee. In order to disseminate beetles beyond the original test plots, the USDA and FDAX began releasing beetles on public lands in Florida with the goal of making an impact on the natural areas that have been overrun by air potato infestation. We started this about six weeks ago. The first two weeks it looked like nothing was happening and then all of a sudden uh, I went on vacation uh, for three weeks, came back and you can see what has happened. They've just taken over and starting to destroy the vine. It's, it's great. The University of Florida began its rearing and release program in 2014 and concentrated its efforts on private lands. Ken Joelli, a University of Florida IFAS Extension agent in St. Lucie County, worked directly with private landowners who are willing to disperse the beetles on air potato plants in their landscapes. We've been releasing these insects since 2014 and we're hearing overwhelming success. Uh, throughout the entire state of Florida. People are very interested in what we're doing and they're seeing this as one solution to the air potato problem. I had spent, you know, a good two years trying to manually uh, get rid of them and it didn't work. They came out about two years ago and deposited uh, the beetles and we immediately saw uh, uh, progress. Within days we saw lots of holes uh, in entire sections of potato vine that had been chewed through and were simply skeletons at that point. And since I live on the waterfront, we really didn't want to use chemicals because we were afraid that it would end up in the waterfront. But when I saw the pieces of the leaves skeletonized, just the outer pieces remaining, I was really amazed because the beetles are actually eating the plants from the inside out and killing them off. As part of an effort to further distribute the beetle to help control air potato, a program was implemented where interested landowners could receive a number of beetles prepared and packaged for release. To date, nearly 450,000 beetles have been released at more than 2,000 locations across the state through the efforts of USDA, FDAX, and UF IFAS. If you are interested in taking part in this effort, Contact the FDAX Division of Plant Industry or your local University of Florida IFAS Extension office. And for more information on air potato biological control, please visit this website.